Hello. Um, right, I'm here uh, to pick up really from where Colin left off. Actually, I'm going to start with a very short quote. Um, I was reading about Arthur Ashe, tennis player. I don't know if you remember Arthur Ashe. <laughs> no. But as similarly inspiring, I think. Um, he said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Um, and I don't actually know what the answer is to, to saving the hospitals personally, but I get the feeling that if we all got together, got our heads together, we could come up with some pretty good ideas, because I think a lot of you are angry in the way that I feel angry, um, hearing some of you coming in tonight. Um, I thought I'd tell you about some of the things that have made me angry. Um, a lot of the money that's uh, being spent, a lot of the money's going on the management of the hospitals. <laughs> It's not going to the people working in the hospitals. Um, the, the workforce in the last annual report uh, was said to be, uh, their average pay was around 31,000. The senior management's average pay was 212,000. There are quite a lot of them as well. Uh, one of them is a director of Cum communications. She's been upgraded recently to a director of communications and patient experience. I think they used to have treatment, but uh, that seems to be out the window. Um, they do a lot of surveys as well, and they measure their tweets, but um, I'm not sure that that helps any of us. Um, I'm angry as well about uh, the chief executive identifying parts of Epsom Hospital Estate as surplus, and then having to deliver letters to evict people who were actually living in the accommodation there, and the trust is now paying rent to accommodate those people. Um, porter cabins are being put on the site to take up uh, the office facilities that were being carried out on the site. Um, I'm angry that he addressed public meetings and said that the, the land could be sold um, because it would be offered to the public sector. And so a lot of people who were in those meetings thought, well, I suppose if it's just being pushed to one side, if it's just going to another public sector for housing, it could go for social housing, we'll see, we'll let it pass. And councillors were duped into that. Of course, it's ended up in public hands. Um, I'm angry because a lot of money is going on things like this, the Improving Healthcare Together uh, engagement. This document is um, just some of the issues around it. And I'm quite angry that Chris Grayling says there is no plan to make any changes to your hospitals. That's been the answer to one of your, the uh, constituents. Um, we've been doing our own survey, actually, because the public engagement, we found um, some of you might have been at our, our stalls and seen us, and we had a survey there, because a lot of people were telling us that they hadn't heard about the public engagement. I don't know if any of you have been to meeting. I'd like to share with you some of the questions um, that we, we gathered from this. I'll tell you, we came up with five questions, five key questions. Sorry, I've got a prop, so I have to go and get this. So, it's quite hard to show it to all of you. Um, are you all right there? That's, it, that's okay. So, have you got it? Lovely. Sorry. We called it the Have Your Say Board. So we said, removing all the cute services from one or both of our hospitals at Epsom and St. Helier, and maybe building a single smaller acute facility, will improve healthcare locally, because that's what they're suggesting. And um, you'll see most people disagree. Um, we asked if cutting the number of acute beds would improve healthcare locally. Most people disagree. Uh, we asked if removing one or both of our maternity units and increasing journey times would be helpful for people's health locally, and people disagreed. Generally, we said, well, longer journey times to A&E for the sickest patients improve healthcare locally. And we disagreed, we find. Overall, the Improving Healthcare Together plan, and I tell you, Sutton CCG had to pay £700,000 for their share in this. I asked what Merton CCG and Surrey Downs CCG had paid, and I was told that I should do a, a Freedom of Information request if I wanted to know that. That's how transparent they are, and I'm sorry, but that's another thing that makes me angry. Um, every meeting I've been to, they say this process will be transparent. I can tell you there's a pre-consultation business case now with uh, NHS England, the London Clinical Senate, the Department of Health and so Social Care. We don't know what's in it. 
they've just produced a pre-consultation business plan. Um, the chief executive has told us that uh, we haven't got our facts right on, uh, on something or other. I'm afraid what the chief executive tells us also very often, as I've said before, makes me angry because he doesn't always tell the entire truth. Um, just a conclusion on our survey. It's got a bit battle-weary, but that's actually how many people disagree. So overall, I don't think the Improving Healthcare Together has a lot of support, um, but they will claim it has. So we really have got to get together and do something about it. Um, thank you very much for coming out this evening. A new hospital is not on offer in this plan. Instead, this plan offers the loss of one or both of our existing acute hospitals. We need more hospitals, not fewer. If, like us, you think we need to retain the two general acute hospitals we already have, you might like to sign our petition at koshh.org slash petition. Let's keep our local acute hospital services. Your life may literally depend upon it. Thanks for watching and please share this video to let more people know about it.